Twin Cities. This is Fox 29 News at 9. I'm jumping, bite me. On the road to recovery, tonight hear from Sweet Flower Vang about her healing after a vicious dog attack. Should law-abiding citizens be able to carry concealed guns in Minnesota? Heat a debate as lawmakers consider the controversial plan. But first on Fox, frustrated by the commute to work in the morning, turns out the Twin Cities is becoming one of the most congested areas in the entire country. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Canangla. And I'm Jordana Green. Congestion on Minnesota highways has gotten so bad, the average driver spends 36 hours sitting in traffic every year. That's up by two hours in just two years. The report by the Texas Transportation Institute says the Twin Cities metro area ranks second only behind Atlanta in the rate of growth in congestion. That makes us the 15th most congested metro in the nation. Minnesota's Transportation Commissioner isn't surprised. We haven't invested in our transportation system as it is. We haven't invested in the roads. We have still places on our beltway uh, where it goes down to one lane, where we've got lane drops and other congestion and bottleneck points that are really restricting the capacity on the system. The commissioner also says the solution to our congestion is expanding highways, light rail, and improving the bus system. Well, if you have filled up this weekend, you know it. The price at the pump just keeps going higher. If this makes you feel any better, it could be worse. Drivers in San Francisco are paying $209 for regular unleaded. Chicago is just below that at $1.97. Here in the Twin Cities, stations are charging up to $1.89. The best deals? South, in Atlanta, where AAA reports the lowest prices, gas ring up at $1.46 a gallon. The question you may be asking tonight, where is all this extra money going? Fox 29's Tim Seymour is here now, and Tim's station owners say don't blame them. Well, Chris, let's face it, these are the days of the $25 to $30 fill-up. So you might be thinking that people collecting the money would be laughing all the way to the bank. Well, think again. At the pump, there's fuel frustration. It's kind of outrageous. It's bad, but there's nothing you can do about it. High prices are trouble for the guy behind the counter, yeah. too. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal, ain't it? Ted Browsen is a second-generation gasoline good. dealer and the owner of four metro filling stations. Believe it or not, as gas prices swell, Ted's profit shrinks. The year 2000, we made less money on gasoline uh, in our four stores in the cities as we did when it was 99 cents a gallon two years prior to that. It's the same story for the other 1,000 members of the Minnesota Service Station Association. Every time price goes up, it hurts their business. Um, a lot of their, their costs are a function of the, the cost of the gasoline. Their profit margin gets squeezed. So where does all of that money go? Let's say you pay $1.75 for a gallon of gas. $1.29 of that price pays for shipping and pays the wholesaler. 35 cents covers state and federal taxes and fees. A nickel goes to credit card companies. Two cents pays for theft. And all that's left, four cents, is what the station owner is left to pay the bills. It's not even enough to run a station. A retail gasoline facility today has to sell um, other items to, to make a living. I mean, they're certainly not going to do it in gasoline. Ted, for instance, sells groceries and deli sandwiches to beef up his bottom line. And like most of us, he hopes for lower gas prices. I mean, obviously, as a dealer and as a neighbor, we'd obviously like to see the price at 99 cents than $1.99. Have a nice day, huh? Station owners are also dealing with drive-offs. More and more people are stealing gas. The Service Station Association says since 1998, drive-offs have skyrocketed. They've gone up. 150 percent. Chris? We have a gas station next door to us. They watch people with binoculars when they go to uh, pump up. But they let me ask to. you this. Uh, if a gas station owner is making four cents on a gallon, uh, why isn't that enough? Well, the service station association says that they should be making 10 to 15 cents a gallon in order to pay for the cost of running the business, pay for the lights, the lease, and pay their employees. Which is why they sell all those other things besides gas mm -hmm. next door and at other places. Tim, very interesting. Thank you. Economic experts say we need to keep inflation in mind when we talk about price hikes. A University of Minnesota professor, Vivi Char, says even though gas prices are very volatile and change rapidly, we're actually right about in line with the price index. 
That means even though gas was about 30 to 35 cents in 1960, and it's about $2 now, it's the same amount of money. But we're paying twice as much for prescriptions and surgery and other medical care than in 1960. One of the few things less expensive over the years, cars. They've actually gotten cheaper over time compared to food and gas. Well, here's a good sign for commuters from the South Metro. Flood barricades that have been in place for three weeks are coming down along 35W and Black Dog Road. Minnesota River has crested and, in fact, is still about seven feet above flood stage, but levels are now expected to drop between five inches and a foot each day for the rest of this week. So who should be allowed to legally carry a gun in Minnesota? Well, that question is one of the hot issues in the legislature. As Fox 29's Lauren Freeman reports, laws that would allow more people to carry weapons is sparking intense debate from those for and against it. When Elizabeth Cregan was just 16 years old, she saw her mother gunned down. She's now a member of the organization Million Mom March. She and these other Minnesota mothers oppose controversial gun legislation. They say it would put more guns on the streets. You're talking about people with loaded handguns on the highway, loaded handguns at Vikings games after a few beers in their belly. Minnesota's law enforcement community also voiced concerns with the proposal, saying it would be dangerous for police and the public. Right now, a police chief can issue a permit to carry a concealed firearm in Minnesota. It's only issued for safety or occupational needs. But even if a person meets these requirements, the police chief still has the discretion to deny the permit. This new bill would take that decision away and allow a sheriff to give the permits to anyone who is not prohibited by law from carrying a gun, for example, felons. It would also require gun owners to be trained and be over 21 years old. And opponents say they're worried about people who could slip through the cracks of this bill. People like drug users or people who are emotionally unstable could still get a permit because they don't have a criminal background. We know there are people who have committed crimes that have never been convicted. We know that there are bullies, that there are bar fighters that have never been arrested or convicted for those charges. That's the handle we need. Republican Representative Linda Boudreau is the chief author of the bill. She says the current law isn't working and accuses opponents of ignoring the facts. Why don't we look at data? Let's look at data in the 33 other states. One state doesn't even require training or a permit. That's Vermont. We have 32 other states, two that were just added this year, that have passed these laws. These laws aren't crazy. These are common sense. Meanwhile, lawmakers on both sides of this issue say they want to deal with the issue now and move on to more pressing matters at the Capitol. In St. Paul, Lauren Freeman, Fox 29 News. Lawmakers are promising quick action on this issue. The Senate could still vote on the bill this week. The House has already passed it, and Governor Ventura says he'll sign it. Could the Twins' winning record land them a new ballpark? With fan interest revived, legislators introduced a bill supporting a new stadium again today. It is identical to the one tabled in a House committee last month. The bill calls for the Twins and other private investors to fund half of the proposed $300 million ballpark. State would pick up the rest by offering an interest-free loan and other tax breaks. It's far from a done deal, however. Many lawmakers are still strongly opposed to that plan. Well, what do you think? Do you support plans for the state to back a new ballpark for the Twins? Give us a call if you support a new stadium. Take part in our news poll by calling 1-900-988-5272. Now, if you're against state support for a stadium, call 1-900-988-5272. Three, it's going to cost you 75 cents to take part in this admittedly unscientific poll, but we're interested in your opinion. All proceeds are donated to the Fox 29 Charity of the Month, and we will have results for you a little bit later on here on Fox 29 News at 9. The House and the Senate will have a wide gap to close before agreeing on a tax plan. An early look at the state Senate's $609 million tax proposal shows a $425 million sales tax rebate. That's about half the size proposed by the House and Governor Ventura. The property tax portion of the bill should be released late this evening. St. Paul police are investigating what could be the city's second murder this year. Officers were called to the Twins Motor Inn on University Avenue around 1.30 this morning. Police found a man's body on one of the motel's balconies. Investigators are not saying how that man died, only that it is a suspicious death. 
And a 28-year-old Fred Pierce of Minneapolis was killed Sunday morning in a house fire. Pierce's wife and seven children managed to get out of the burning home, but he died of smoke inhalation. Investigators say food left burning on the stove may have ignited the fire. The owner of this Minneapolis liquor store pled not guilty to charges he sold beer to a U of M student who later fell out of bed and died. The owner is accused of selling beer to four underage students without checking their IDs in February. One of them, Jonathan Thielen, later fell off his loft bed and was found dead the next morning. A little girl attacked by pit bulls is back at school. Seven-year-old Sweet Flower Vang had two weeks to rest and heal. Today, she boarded a bus for the first time since the incident. Fox 29's Kemi Melton is here tonight. You sat down with uh, to her, see how she's doing, and how's she doing? <laughs> she's actually doing great. I was really surprised. When we first drove up, this little girl came running out to greet us with so much energy, and I almost asked her, so who's your little sister, and is, is Sweet Flower around? But then I got close enough and started to see the stitched up cuts on her forehead. She's healing so quickly, but it's clear that the emotional scars will be around for a while. I was waiting at the bus. She starts telling the story several times. Well. And what happened? But the only description she ever gives of the attack is... Two dogs come and jump and bite me. Sweet Flower Vang is a shy, soft-spoken seven-year-old who's getting more attention than she wants. Oh, this is for you. Thank you. Friends and relatives stop by with gifts. The sign across the living room wall is for her. So are the balloons. This doll and bed set is from her teacher. And ah! this scooter is from the construction worker who pulled the dogs off her. Uh, she's lucky. Her sisters and brother are jealous, but they don't understand what she went through. Scared. Scared is right. Sweet Flower was waiting for a bus here in North Minneapolis when police say two pit bulls came after her. She did not run. And she thought they were playing, but she was wrong. So the dog uh, uh, attacked her. Two weeks later, you can still see numerous punctures, scratches, and small sets of stitches all over her body. Right here, right there, uh, here, right here, right here, and right here. In my butt. Yeah. In my shoulder. But they're fading fast. Do your do your cuts still hurt or what how nope. does it feel? It feels great. Both of the pit bulls who bit Sweet Flower have been euthanized. Investigators are still looking into the attack and trying to decide what action, if any, to take against the dog owners. Chris, so far they have only found one of them. They're still trying to identify the owner of the second pit bull. Mm. Well, I, I guess the good news is because she's seven, she's really going to heal pretty pretty quickly. And no major vessels were, were hit. No. That's right. And it doesn't even look like major scarring. Like I was telling you, you walk up to her and you can't even tell at first. Yeah. Well, she certainly touched us and a lot of people. Are they getting a lot of response from... They're getting cards, calls, you name it. People are driving by and waving all these strangers. So she's uh, she's feeling like a star. She's a little overwhelmed by the attention because she's so shy. But she she's watching just, tonight? I hope so. Well, <laughs> good. We're, like, we're glad to see you're getting better. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Kimmy. You're welcome. Buddhist leader the Dalai Lama got a warm welcome from people in the Twin Cities today. This afternoon, followers lined the streets of downtown Minneapolis to get a glimpse of their spiritual and political leader. This is the religious leader's first visit to our area. Minneapolis Mayor Sharon Sales Belton greeted him when he arrived in downtown Minneapolis and heard his message of hope and opportunity. We have the obligation to uh, teach our children and to live our lives differently and he talked about not kind of living for the moment but living uh, with the future in mind. The Dalai Lama is expected to speak at three public events at the University of Minnesota which are expected to attract about 20,000 people and they are sold out all three. Anti-gay protesters from Topeka, Kansas greeted Woodbury High School students as they arrived at school this morning. As Fox 29's Liz Brummond reports, they're protesting the school for barring a student from wearing a straight pride sweatshirt to class. 
were you just fired? You will soon join man in hell. Why Have a nice day. Fired? The Reverend Fred Phelps from Topeka, Kansas, led a small group of protesters at Woodbury High School. He says he came all this way because it was his job to send gays a message. I'm the only one that does love these little mugwump sodomites. I tell them they're going to hell. These preachers that are telling them God loves them and they're all right like they are and it's okay to be gay, hate them. They're sending them to hell. It's actually the totally opposite of uh, what Mr. Phelps is trying to relay. At the center of the controversy is Elliot Chambers. The 16-year-old says he wore the straight pride shirt to school to send a positive message about his beliefs. It helps me express my Christian views. Uh, I want to stay abstinent until I get married and then faithfulness in marriage. Phelps's group invited Chambers to join their protest today and were offended when he declined. Cowardly little punk. Uh -huh. Members from several gay anti-defamation groups were also on hand. He says that uh, God hates fags and that's why he's out here. But I believe the Christian message is to love everyone. There are other points of view and we're just out here to to say, you know, there are other points of view. To make sure the protests remain peaceful, extra security was called in. To avoid disruption to the school day, the school district did not allow the media or the protesters on school grounds. But in a written statement, they did say a majority of the students wore the school colors today, a blue and white, in a show of support for the high school. I think it shows ignorance for these people that they don't realize what the school's trying to do, that they need to keep out disruption during the, during the school day. In Woodbury, Liz Brumman, mm. Fox 29 News. Chambers is suing the school, saying the ban is an infringement of his right to free expression. A hearing will be held next week. Minneapolis Mayor Sharon Sales Pelton is facing a primary fight. She failed to get the DFL party endorsement this weekend, but neither did her leading opponent, R.T. Ryback. A candidate needs 60% of the delegates to claim an endorsement. Sales Pelton received 48%, Ryback 49 Five candidates still plan to run in the September primary. Well, today is Monday, but it is also Tax Freedom Day. If every dollar you made this year so far had gone to taxes, you'd be done paying taxes for the year. It's Minnesota's official Tax Freedom Day. This annual marker has been moving back at a steady pace every year since 1992, when Tax Freedom Day was April 18th. America's golden years are looking rosier. A new study out by researchers at Duke University shows older Americans are living longer and enjoying a more vigorous lifestyle. It found fewer people over 65 require nursing home care. It also shows 8 out of 10 seniors take care of themselves in routine activities of daily living. That's up 9% since 1982. A new survey finds that hospital nurses are burnt out. The study, published in the journal Health Affairs, states one out of every three nurses under age 30 plans to leave their job within the next year. More than two out of five say they're emotionally exhausted and overwhelmed by their workload. The nurses blame rising patient loads and shortage of nurses on bad treatment on the job. Government figures now show by the year 2008 an additional 450,000 nurses may be needed for care of our aging population. Well, it turned out to be a pretty fair day today. I'm still waiting for those 80s and, well, I guess I have to wait a little longer for the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> but, a little hey, bit. Hey. A little bit. You Listen, know, for Monday, it wasn't all bad today. Nah. Not at Some all. Some sunshine, touch of rain. Right. And you know what? We got props tonight. It's a Monday. We got props. This is from Chaskey Elementary School. The kids are going to be on a little bit later tonight. And you know what? We have an orchestra tonight. Not only singing, but music as well. So Looks like they have nice. sunny skies in Chaska right. every day, don't you they? You bet. Chaskey Elementary, a place to grow. Cute. Coming up. Jeff, there you go. I told you to get in the show. Hold on. Wait, wait, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, right now some clouds moving in, 57 degrees current temperature. And but look at this. The dew point is very, very low at 33 degrees. The air is very dry now. The cold, dry air mass has moved in. That's nice. Get the rain out of here. Pressure is rising at 29.84 because now some heavy, dense, cold air moved on in. Kids, we talked about that today. Big Blue H stands for happy weather. That's what's coming tomorrow. You betcha in Chaska and everywhere. Here's your almanac for today. Normal high and low for today, 66 and 44. We were close, actually. But with the winds howling to 37 miles, an hour. It felt kind of brisk today, didn't it? But some sunshine for sure. Hey, you want to see winds at 2,400 miles an hour? Here's what they look like. Some sunshine today, then some clouds, and then some more sunshine, then a couple drops, and then some more sunshine, and then the uh, clouds came on in. But as far as the rainfall today, just a trace, just kind of in and out. The cold front is way past us, but some flow around the low pressure system, 
a couple drops here and there. But again, just a trace of rain. Now look at the high temperatures, actually current temperatures right now. See they kind of do this kind of this kind of wave kind of thing going on here. This is called a meridional meridional flow of air from west to east. When it goes straight across, that's called zonal flow. We're getting a little bit of a dip out here, a little trough, a little ridge out here. Later on this week, it's going to straighten out. And some nice weather is coming our way. Hey, you know what? Paul and Judy Predzik from Minneapolis love this map. This is our night flight. And Paul and Judy called it in. They said, we dig this thing. Let's go down to Texas, folks. Some storms down there with a cold front right up the Ohio River Valley towards Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. Tornadoes, thunderstorms here tonight. The bad weather we had yesterday, worse today off to our east. But to our west, high pressure for 1,000 miles. And that is the next couple of days. And it is looking great. Thanks for your call as well, the Predzik family. So, floor on the low, some light rain coming in tonight, but you know what? Not a big problem. Not a bit. My new favorite town, Spring Valley, Wisconsin. 57 degrees right now. Sam the Twin Cities, 47 in Duluth. Farther west, Brainerd, 50. St. Cloud, 53. And Hills, Minnesota, down in the corner, also 57 degrees. So, here's how we're looking. Our future red shows where the rain is tomorrow off to the east coast and well down to the south, but out to the west, we are looking great for a good part of the rest of the week. Here's a forecast end for tonight. Scattered showers, and I mean real widely scattered. Not gonna be a big problem. Sprinkles is gonna be about it. 40 degrees, your overnight low. Kind of on the cool side, actually. So, cool. close the windows before morning time. For tomorrow, then, partly sunny and cool. 58 degrees, your high. Kind of brisk. Look at the west winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour. For tomorrow night, one more cool one. Partly cloudy skies and 40 degrees, your overnight low. Here is your five-day fox scented forecast for everybody in Spring Valley and Shaska and everywhere else you may be. Look at this. Sunshine tomorrow and Wednesday as well. Wednesday, great. Sunny and 72. Chance of rain Thursday. 40% chance of some tea storms. And we're all hoping, of course, for good weather this weekend for the fishing opener and Mother's Day. Right now, guys, so far, so good. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed for that. Big weekend. And you kids in Chaska, you're coming up, kids. Keep those VCRs ready. <laughs> Thank you, Way Carl. to welcome. You betcha. Speaking of openers. Good tease. It took volunteers countless hours to fill them, but now that the flooding is over, what happens to all those sandbags, huh? One possible solution is still ahead tonight here on Fox 29 News at 9. And it was a dramatic rescue at sea after a small plane ran into trouble off the coast of Massachusetts. We'll bring you the family's amazing story coming up. Up next, though, if you've ever run into trouble with your health insurance provider, you can understand this woman's frustration, but you will not believe what she cannot get her insurance company to pay for. Well, you're, you're looking at it. You're watching Fox 29 News at 9. Here, professional kitchens are your classrooms. Here, cuisine is a way to express your creativity and talent. At the Art Institute's International Minnesota, you'll learn hands-on skills chefs use every day, from food preparation to presentation. And you'll learn how to think and act like a culinary professional. Our associate's degree program prepares you for entry-level positions in resorts, hotels, and industry. The Art of Cooking Certificate program introduces you to fine cuisine. Call us today at 1-888-296-8200. Morning. How'd you sleep? Good. Ah, oh, I slept great. Must be that fresh mountain air, you know? Nothing like it. Mm. Oh, man. Ooh. Introducing the Jetta Wagon, with room for 70 cubic feet of anything. Ah, uh, the great outdoors. Mm. Someone has a secret. Phyllis? Honey, I have a secret. I didn't use Glass Service Company, and I'm sleeping with your brother. You did what? You did use Glass Service Company? What the hell are you thinking? This could have all been avoided if they had just called Glass Service Company. $35 cash or two free boxes of skates. Be good to each other. Call Glass Service Company. Papa Murphy's puts 80 slices of pepperoni on their large pepperoni pizza. The key is learning to get exactly 80 every time. That's 79. How does he do that? Even though you get 80 slices of pepperoni and a whole pound of freshly grated cheese, a Papa Murphy's pizza costs less because you bake it yourself. I do good work. And now Papa Murphy's large pepperoni is only $5.99. That's right, just $5.99. Papa Murphy's Take and Bake. Big pizza, big taste. Ready for an outdoor adventure? Well, Bachman's is up and ready for you. Stop in, see new things, explore. 
you'll discover some really great vines. It's easy to bring home a touch of the tropics with heavenly hibiscus. They'll bloom all summer and their sale price from only $19.99. And be sure to stock up on Bachman-grown Americana geraniums. Americanas were top rated in local and national field tests. For proven performance, put Bachman's at the top of your list. Swing into savings at Menards. Your kids will have hours of fun on play centers from Hedstrom. A Daniel Boone swing set is on sale, just $179. This Treesdale Tower play center is $399. Get ready for graduations, parties, and get-togethers with this Fiji five-piece resin table and chair set from Growflex. On sale, just $69. Get affordable patio furniture at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You're watching the Twin Cities' best choice for primetime news with Chris Canangla, Jordana Green, Chief Meteorologist Carl Spring, and Sports with John Hank. This is Fox 29 News at 9. A Michigan woman has a 50-pound tumor, and her insurance company says, so what? Sandra Richardson of Detroit is at her wit's end. She has a tumor in her stomach the size of, get this, a basketball. But her insurance company refuses to pay for surgery to remove it, calling it a cosmetic procedure. Richardson says most people assume she's pregnant. I get sick of hearing that. I get to the point where I told people, yes, I am. Just to get you know, them off your just back? Just to get them off my back. I get tired of explaining I have a tumor. This isn't the first time Richardson's dealt with this problem. A few years ago, she had a tumor even bigger than this one removed after it burst. Two families are safe after the small plane they were flying in made an emergency landing on the Atlantic Ocean. The passengers managed to inflate a lifeboat, and six people, including five children, were found floating in it two miles off the coast of Massachusetts. The parents and a teenager were found clinging to the side of a lifeboat. Water temperature was only 60 degrees, make that 50 degrees. A faulty fuel pump is being blamed for the plane's engine failure. Cars of the future will give you better vision and plenty of advice. At least that's what Volvo and Ford are offering with their concept cars. The cars are not only made to fit you by adjusting steering wheels and seats, they also have four different cameras that play on a little TV screen, giving you an idea of what's behind you and around you. So what else? Well, a voice that tells you when it's dangerous to make a lane change, and the headlights have a little extra kick. The beam pattern will extend as you're driving faster, so when you're on the highway, you can see very far down the road in front of you, and also broaden and widen as you're coming to an intersection or as you go to turn a corner. Cool. Uh, it'll be at least three years before you see cars like this on the road. A can of Coca-Cola has created quite a stir in Centerville, Maryland. A woman was served a Coke at a friend's home when she realized the Coke can was a $10,000 sweepstake winner. The two friends fought in court over the prize. What did the judge decide? The can belonged to the hostess because the guests could not prove it had been a gift. Bird watchers everywhere will wait hours just for one glimpse of the bald eagle. But there's one place the symbol of freedom is not welcome still to come, why the majestic birds are posting a safety hazard. His visit to the Twin Cities has provoked protest and praise, but just who is the man revered as the Dalai Lama? That answer coming up in just a few minutes. But up next, you know the price of the pump is skyrocketing, but who's really pocketing all that cash? A recap of tonight's top stories is just ahead here on Fox 29 News at 9. It's a wild road trip to Canada until Fez loses his green card. What are you doing in Canada? Me no speak as English. An all new That 70s Show. And it's, it's Titus, Titus and Leno in a top fuel showdown. Let's see what you got. Uh, you want a piece of me? Jay Leno joins a new Titus. Then an incredible discovery creates a terrifying possibility. Once she's back, we can make a hundred more like him. An all new Dark Angel. Tuesday night starting at 7 on Fox 29. Seasonal Concepts is the patio furniture specialist in the metro area since 1962, and we've assembled the spring's best selection of name brand patio furniture for our spring sales bonanza. Sit with comfort and save in a five-piece Homecrest dining set for just $6.97. Every major name brand is now on sale. You'll have it made in the shade with a nine-foot market umbrella for just $1.47. Save 20% on our brilliant outdoor lighting collection, seasonal accessories, and more. Hurry in and see what's on sale at the Seasonal Concepts near you.
When we built our house, we found a lot that was just perfect. Yeah, well, it was the worst sight I'd ever seen. We love the view, and the sunsets are incredible. The weather is brutal. It had everything. Earthquake, tidal wave, horizontal rain. We wanted lots of windows. I insisted on Anderson windows. At Anderson, we appreciate the builders who, time after time, make it look easy. We're still in love with this house. And I'm still recovering. Worryproof, timeproof, Anderson windows. Quant America is celebrating the grand opening of our Anoka store, so we're having a sale at all stores. Movies and CDs only $3.99. Everything is reduced during our grand opening sale. Also, take up to an additional 30% off our already low-priced jewelry. Quant America is right for you. Quant America. It's going to be big, really big. Star Tribune Big Tuesday, presented by Rainbow Foods. It's your chance to win big prizes, and lots of them. To enter, pick up the Star Tribune newspaper this Tuesday. Star Tribune, it's where you live. Looking for a comfortable spot to kick back? Relax. Maybe curl up? Then you'll enjoy the casual feels of home. Beautiful upholstery in casual styles. Colorful selections. Exceptional prices with sofas from $5.99. And the flexibility of comfortable sectionals. Come enjoy the casual feels of stylish upholstery. You'll find your style at home. If you're just joining us, here's a check of tonight's top stories for you. High gasoline prices continue to drain drivers' wallets and diminish profits for gas station owners. Dealers say they're making only a few pennies on a gallon, far less than when gasoline was 99 cents. AAA says the average price in the Twin Cities is $1.79, but you'll pay up to a buck ninety at some local stations. A bill that would make it easier to get a gun permit to carry a concealed firearm is being debated in the Senate. The bill would allow most law-abiding, mentally competent adults who have been through training to get permits. The Senate could vote on the bill sometime this week. It has already passed in the House. A Kansas reverend led a small group of anti-gay protesters at Woodbury High School this morning. They say they were there to support a student who was told he could not wear a straight pride shirt to school. That student did not join the protest today. He says the shirt was an expression of his religious beliefs, not an attempt to bash other lifestyles. As we told you earlier in the newscast, the Dalai Lama is in the Twin Cities tonight. But it's not just religious followers who are turning out to see him. As Fox 29's Sharon Lawson tells us tonight, from politics to prayer, the Dalai Lama means many things to many different people. He's traveled the world and is known as the religious and political leader of Tibet. But who is the Dalai Lama? He's both a man, a flesh and blood man. Um, he thinks of himself that way. But he's also the incarnation of um, a, uh, an eternal Buddha. William Malandra is the director of the Department of Classical and Near Eastern Studies at the University of Minnesota. He says the Dalai Lama is more than a spiritual figure. He's been a force for peace and understanding uh, between religions. He's the 14th Dalai Lama since 1391, and he was identified to take over the helm at the age of two. At four, he was brought to the Tibetan capital and installed head of state. Today, with native flags in hand, festive garments, and burning incense, a crowd lined the streets of downtown Minneapolis to get a glimpse of the man whose name embodies compassion, holiness, and wisdom. It's a chance of a lifetime for close to a thousand local Tibetans to come face to face with his holiness in his first ever visit to the Twin Cities. Oh, we feel very great and wonderful. Yeah, and a long time I couldn't see my His Holiness Dalai Lama. Even those who don't practice Tibetan Buddhism say his message should be mirrored. Peace, gentleness, kindness, uh, a lot of the things that I wish that we could put into our American ways, but we don't. Followers say his visit to the Twin Cities isn't to create a Buddhist community, but to encourage people in their spiritual walk with hopes that mankind will not only live in the moment, but for the future. In Minneapolis, Sharon Lawson, Fox 29 News. 
The Dalai Lama's speaking engagements start tomorrow at the University of Minnesota, first with generating a good heart at 9.30 at Northrop Auditorium, and then he will speak on compassion and the universal responsibility in a new century. That will take place at 5.30 p.m. at Williams Arena. The power is back on tonight for most Minnesotans affected by spring flooding. Xcel Energy customers whose gas or electricity was cut off because of flooding had to have their appliances inspected and repaired before service could be restored. Xcel says the inspections were a safety precaution for customers. They need to have, if it's an electrical meter that they need to have reconnected, they need to have an electrical inspector from their community uh, check out the appliance to make sure that it can be turned back on. The inspections are wrapping up, but in the meantime, Excel recommends if you do have appliances with water damage, you do not use them until they are inspected. And speaking of flooding, volunteers filled more than 9 million bags with 180,000 tons of sand to keep the floods of 2001 at bay. Now someone's got to cart them all away. State officials say it'll be up to local cities and counties to dispose of their own sandbags. But there are no federal guidelines on how long sandbags can remain in place and no instructions on what to do with them once you're finished. Minnesota Public Safety spokesperson Kevin Smith says the sand will be recycled and used for things like road repairs. Senator Mark Dayton is making good on a campaign promise. He's been sending every one of his paychecks to the Minnesota Seniors Foundation. Each paycheck is for $3,452.56. Now, the senior group plans to use the money for prescription-buying bus trips to Canada. Sightings of the bald eagles are up at the Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport, and that is posing a safety threat to planes. A collision was reported last year between an eagle and a DC-10. And just last month, a smaller plane narrowly missed hitting one of the birds. Later this week, the Metropolitan Airport Commission will meet to discuss a plan to possibly remove the eagles' nests. City of St. Paul is getting ready for the year 2004, the year of the Great Excursion. Back in 1854, 1,200 people focused the world's attention on the Mississippi River when they traveled by steamboat from Illinois to Minnesota. In three years, you could be part of the next big adventure when a flotilla of steamboats, boy, is that going to be something to see, is going to carry thousands of the, on, the Mississippi, on the Mississippi. To get ready, St. Paul is pooling its efforts to revitalize and beautify the riverfront. Imagine so uh, things beyond your wildest <laughs> expectations. When you tap into the great energy of this community, great things happen. And 32 cities all along the Mississippi, including Minneapolis and St. Paul, are committed to renovating and redesigning their riverfronts, not only for the excursion, but they hope to make them better places to live, work, and grow. I, I'm way too excited. I'm more excited about that, I know. <laughs> it's going to be something. Imagine that. All those riverboats on, it's on the be river. It's going to be beautiful. Three years. Pope John Paul II makes a pilgrimage of peace. We'll bring you your world in a minute when Fox 29 News at 9 continues. It's written by Minnesotans, produced by Minnesotans, and stars Minnesotans. Now, though, all of America will get a chance to say, let's bowl. And in tonight's health alert, you've taken away the pop, but there's something else your child is drinking that could be just as bad. This is Fox 29 News at 9. Tonight's Bloomberg Business Report is brought to you by Prudential. Finding your dream home and protecting it. Ensuring the future for your family. Investing for your most important goals. Millions of people build their future on the strength of Prudential. Which piece of the rock do you need today? If you don't think business is a jungle, think again. It's easier than you realize to get your degree from National American University. Experts in computer and business training. NAU is all about flexibility. Day classes, night classes, classes online. You can even take classes from home. Find out more about NAU's quick degree completion in e-commerce, web development, business, computers, and more. National American University in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Mall of America. 763-560-8377. It didn't even order. What happened? I think it was something I ordered. It looked so good, but I think I got some bad long distance. There's BLD in this. See your bill? From home calling area only. Well, I knew it. 
It can happen. Here, Sprint PCS has real nationwide long distance included. So you can call to anywhere, from anywhere on their network with no long distance charges. I feel so much better. That's what they all say. Try the duck. Real nationwide long distance from Sprint PCS. Celebrate 25 years. Save five bucks with a Mountain Dew can. New extra crispy chicken from KFC. It's not just the crunch. It's the flavor in the crunch that makes you much. For a short time, get a 12-piece bucket for just $9.99. Just $9.99. New extra crispy chicken from KFC. Captured at their moment of perfection, a garland of impeccable porcelain roses surrounds Teleflora's Roses of Love teapot bouquet. Filled with a wealth of fresh spring flowers, it lets you pour out your love without saying a single word. A Mother's Day gift this memorable, it must be from Teleflora. Mother's Day flowers from Minneapolis Floral. Ethnic hatreds resurface in Bosnia, tragedy in an overcrowded soccer stadium. U.S. resumes China's spy flights, and the Pope calls for world justice. All in tonight's Fox 29, World in a Minute. An ugly scene in Banja Luka, Bosnia, as police struggle to hold back a crowd of angry Serbs. They hurl insults along with rocks and eggs at Muslims there to dedicate a new mosque. Muslims were expelled from Banja Luka during the Bosnian War and the ethnic cleansing that followed. In Sari, Iran, tragedy at an overcrowded soccer stadium. At least two are dead and 300 others injured, many critically following the collapse of a metal awning that crumbled under the weight of hundreds of fans. The stadium was over capacity by some 20,000 people. Others were injured in a stampede that followed. With little fanfare, the U.S. resumed surveillance flights off the China coast. An unarmed reconnaissance plane left from Okinawa, Japan, and flew in international airspace along the northern Chinese coastline. No Chinese aircraft rose to meet it, despite demands by China that the U.S. not resume such flights. And in the midst of world chaos, the Pope continues his mission to Syria. Stooped and clearly weary, he visited the Church of St. Paul in Damascus, where he delivered a sermon urging an end to hostility and calling for a world of justice and solidarity. And that's the Fox 29 World in a Minute. In entertainment news this evening, you may soon see some familiar faces on the television. Comedy Central plans to air a locally produced show called Let's Bowl. The show is described as the people's court meets bowling for dollars. <laughs> it features competitors with a score to settle, bowling for prizes like used cars or a new chainsaw. Hmm. Well, the first of 10 episodes of Let's Bowl will premiere on August 19th at 9.30 p.m. I suppose since dueling is outlawed, you might as well go yeah. bowling instead to figure it out. I guess you got to be a good bowler, though, You know, huh? I remember bowling for dollars years ago, oh, back when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Usually had a movie there, too, yeah. bowling with the movie and all that stuff. And, yeah. and I don't know if it was live TV or on one, but that, that was a pretty fun show back sure. then. You bet. Air break into it. Well, today, Monday, part good, part so not so good. Yeah. But you know what? It's Monday. We're through it. Let's move on. What do you say? <laughs> Let's move on. Here's our Fox Tower cam right up top. And, you know, either it's windy up there, else uh, sports reporter Jim Rich is hanging on the camera again. Get him down off of there. It's been windy all day long, gusts to 37 miles an hour. Just a windy, windy day. But otherwise, for the most part, we're heading into a pretty nice couple of days here. Let's look at our satellite radar composite. Watch the spin here around low pressure system up to our north. Long cold front from Texas all the way to Indiana, Ohio and back up to the north, up towards Winnipeg. Just some fierce storms out ahead of it here. You've got some tornado problems out there in parts of Indiana, Ohio, and western Pennsylvania. Part of the system rumbled through here yesterday. Fortunately, it wasn't as bad here yesterday as it was last Tuesday. So, now the flow around the low. Some light scattered showers still coming into the Twin Cities area, but for the most part, this is moving out, and some cooler, denser, dry air mass is going to move in, meaning lots of sunshine for the next couple of days. Some pretty nice temps coming up. Here's our zoomed in look at radar then, blowing through the metro area, and you can sure see some just some light scatter stuff this afternoon, but you know what, that's out of here now, and we can say goodbye to the rain for a couple, three days. Right now in St. Paul, 59 degrees, Minneapolis 57, 55 in Burnsville, Mount, and Blaine, and hey, Chaska, Ch got, your, got your VCR set, folks, in Chaska Elementary School? You bet, you're coming up, guys. You are coming up, and then, then it's bedtime. 
because you're only in second grade, all right? Here's where we go then for tomorrow. Cold front is gonna move on out of here. High pressure moving on in, and that means, you know what? A couple of nice days coming up. Some clouds tomorrow to the north, but for the most part, high pressure comes on in. Some sunny skies, a bit cool tomorrow. 58 degrees for a high, but you know what? We just get better from there. Here is your five-day Fox Senate forecast, and looking this way, tomorrow is pretty good. Wednesday is even better. I like Thursday, too. A little chance of rain on Thursday. Maybe some showers and thunderstorms, but a 40% chance at this point. But temperatures going up real nicely. And right now, into the big weekend for Mother's Day and the fishing opener, we're looking fine. Right now, here are all the second graders at Chaska Elementary School. <laughs> I think it may have a new theme song. We Doesn't may use it more often. Chaska Elementary, a place to grow. Thanks to Katie Brush Thank for you, inviting me out there. Wasn't that nice job, kids? Very nice job. Very that was nice. just great. And they all knew the words. I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's they wrote that song just for their school. Chaska Elementary, a place to grow. Great job. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Carl. Thank you for bringing that. You bet. In our Fox 29 Health Alert, we've got some not-so-sweet news about fruit juice. The American Academy of Pediatrics says children under six months should not drink juice and it should never be put in a bottle. That can prolong exposure of teeth to sugars that can cause cavities. Children ages one to six, six should drink no more than four to six ounces of juice daily. And those ages seven through, through 18 should have no more than 12 ounces a day. That's really just one big glass of OJ. Academy doctors say children are better off eating fruit. Well, not only is it too much juice that can cause cavities, secondhand smoke has now been linked to tooth decay in kids. Children of smokers are almost twice as likely as other children to have baby teeth with cavities. The researchers based their findings on data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. Forget about prescription drugs, a bowl of oatmeal may ward off heart disease. Health Magazine reports that oatmeal can reduce bad cholesterol and lower your blood pressure. It's the soluble fiber in oats that does this. It pulls the LDLs from our blood, taking them out of our body, so that lowers our risk of heart disease. It also helps keep us full longer because that same soluble fiber slows down digestion. Got to get the fiber. Other whole grains and fruits have soluble fiber too, but oats are also packed with disease-fighting antioxidants. A bowl of oatmeal a day with some dried fruit mixed in, mmm, <laughs> should give you the benefits. <laughs> <laughs> You're a healthy person, aren't you? <laughs> oh, gosh. Stocks saw a little change today as many investors stayed on the sidelines waiting for next week's Federal Reserve meeting. The Dow Jones Industrials average ended down 16 points to close at 10,935. NASDAQ fell nearly 18 points to close at 2,173. Now, here's Fox 29's Lane Bijardi with the Twin Cities Market Report. Thanks, Chris. On this merger Monday, one of the biggest deals came out of Minneapolis. Shares of Novacorp soared 23% higher on word U.S. Bank Corp. has agreed to pay $2.1 billion for the Atlanta-based credit card payment processor. Buying Nova will make U.S. Bank the third largest processor of payments for merchants, bolstering an operation that is growing faster than its lending business. Shares of U.S. Bank dropped over 6% on news of the deal. Overall today, local stocks followed the markets lower. The Bloomberg Minnesota index ended the session down a point and a quarter, led lower by two Eden Prairie companies. Sermotix dropped nearly 9%, and Best Buy lost 5%. Even with that loss, the electronics retailer is still up 80% since the beginning of the year. Shares of two local companies rose to 52-week highs, food wholesaler Nash Finch of Edina and St. Paul-based Biovascular. Meanwhile, consultants and workers say Northwest Airlines mechanics are likely to approve a new contract Wednesday, giving them the industry's best pay and more than doubling their retirement benefits. That's the latest from the Bloomberg booth at the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Lane Bajardi for Fox 29 News. Back to you. Well, still to come tonight on Fox 29 News at 9, he's a triathlete from St. Paul heading for Hawaii this fall. He is also getting that news from us, and we will take you there for the surprise in the Fox 29 Sports Zone. That's with John Hank next on Fox 29 News at 9. First, though, tonight's Fox 29 News poll, we asked, do you support the Twins' efforts to get a new stadium? 
That issue is before lawmakers right now, and here are, <clears throat> pardon me, the results. 61% of you do support the idea. 39% say you're against it. Thank you to everyone who called in. Brought to you by AT&T Broadband and Time Warner Cable. To order, just dial 651 Cable TV. Now everyone in your home can watch what they want, where they want. Get cable installed in up to any three rooms for just $9.95. Unlike satellite, you'll get all your local channels and local 24-7 customer service. So call today. Morning. How'd you sleep? Good. Ah, oh, I slept great. Must be that fresh mountain air, you know? Nothing like it. Mm. Oh, man! Ooh. Introducing the Jetta Wagon, with room for 70 cubic feet of anything. Ah, the great outdoors. Mm. Mr. Evans, your car's ready to go. All right, here's my billfold with cash and credit cards. There's my checkbook. My wife gave me this watch for Christmas. It's really very nice. What? Last time I had my transmission worked on from the other guy, cost me a bundle. So I just figured. No, no, Mr. Evans. It was something simple. Just 3116 and you're all set to go. At the transmission shop, we've grown over the years because we give great service at a price you can live with. Get a little more than you expected for a little less. Have a cookie. Seasonal Concepts is the patio furniture specialist in the metro area since 1962, and we've assembled the spring's best selection of name brand patio furniture for our spring sales bonanza. Sit with comfort and save in a five-piece Homecrest dining set for just $6.97. Every major name brand is now on sale. You'll have it made in the shade with a nine-foot market umbrella for just $1.47. Save 20% on our brilliant outdoor lighting collection, seasonal accessories, and more. Hurry in and see what's on sale at the Seasonal Concepts near you. Get true savings on True Temper Yard and Garden Tools at Menards. Choose from a shovel or rake, on sale only $5.99 each. This handy 4-cubic foot wheelbarrow is just $19.96. A 6-cubic foot model is $34.97. Make spring cleanups easier with help from Rubbermaid. Choose from a 32-gallon wheeled trash can or a 27-gallon spring bag, just $7.99 each. Bag up big savings at Menards. Save big money at Menards. And this uh, next story we're going to learn, sometimes you find out things in private, sometimes you find out things in front of the whole wide world. That's right. We were afforded the opportunity to shock this guy, and we did it. Follow this. Pretty cool. 35-year-old Paul Yeager, a triathlete from St. Paul. He's been doing marathons five years, been working on the run, bike, and swim for the triathlon for now two and a half years. Paul works at Seagate Tech in Bloomington. That's where we set our own Jim Rich. Paul called into a room where some of his fellow employees sat and waited, there to share in the surprise. The Hawaiian Ironman, the prestige event of the sport, offered 200 spots in their October triathlon in a lottery. Paul, one of 4,000 who entered, getting one of the qualifying spots by luck of the draw. Fox 29 Sports Jim Rich brings the stunning news to Paul. Oh yeah, I didn't buy this. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Cute. Look at that. You weren't thinking you were going to get laid off or something, were you? No, but uh, I think a lot of people were thinking maybe something was in the in the air. We had no idea, but we told we were told it was good news. So uh, this is pretty good news. Yeah, <laughs> it is good news. Congrats to Paul heading to Muncie now for the uh, marathon qualifier, a half marathon qualifier, which should be. No sweat. Well, what are you really expecting tomorrow night at Yankee Stadium? The Twins open the three-game series wondering if it's payback time for Yankee fans. Wondering if they'll remember the treatment, you know, the golf balls, quarters, hot dogs. Some twin fans dished out to Chuck Knobloch, the former twin second baseman, now Yankee outfielder, a week ago in the Dome. Well, it's true, 
fans in the Bronx have a cheer named after them, and police on horseback is the way it works at Yankee Stadium. Should we be concerned, and would we, if the Twins did not have one of the best records in baseball? Well, tomorrow night, I am headed to the Yankee Stadium looking for answers. Live reports out of New York here on Fox 29 News at 9. We'll check out Yankee security, which should be tough enough to avoid any problems, and we'll catch up with the Twins as they go after their 22nd win of the year. That's live from Yankee Stadium tomorrow. Fox 29 News at 9. Stanley Cup, East Semis in Toronto, Leafs in Jersey, Game 6 playing tough. No backlash from the Ty Domi hit in Game 4. 2-1 Devils late second, Leafs goalie Curtis Joseph, down he goes, hit by his own man. In front of Brian Rafalski out of Wisconsin, the old Badger puts his Devils up to stay. Jersey wins it 4-2. The series is tied at 3, deciding Game 7 Wednesday in the Meadowlands. NBA, West Semis in San Antonio. Spurs coach Greg Popovich gets the tee and the boot just before the half. Didn't like the foul called on Danny Ferry. Thing is, Spurs, Tim Duncan, make it look easy, always. Duncan once, then Duncan, Duncan twice. Spurs may be the best in the NBA. They lead the best of 7-2 zip heading to Dallas. That leads our early scores. This program brought to you by the people of Northwest Airlines, serving over 750 destinations worldwide. Reach the destinations most important to you. With over 50% more legroom, with more personal space, our new world business class. It's Martin's birthday, and the boys are on a buying frenzy. Frazier with you? No, he's out shopping for your dad. That chuckle! Who will outdo who? Oh, it's ghastly. On Frazier. Tonight at 10 on Fox 29. I want to get one of those uh, workout tapes, so I got me one of those Cindy Crawford ones. <laughs> well, she's like 25 years old. How can you do those exercises? You're supposed to do the exercises? <laughs> Tonight at 11.30 on Fox 29. Come to the Extravaganza at Perkins. Any time of day you can have exactly what you want. Like the Magnificent 7 for just $3.99, the Tremendous 12 for only $4.99, or a premium omelet for just $5.49. Choose either a charbroiled sirloin or a smoked ham and eggs for only $6.99. Come to the Extravaganza perfectly prepared by Perkins. And <laughs> that's no exaggeration. Perkins, always something fresh and new. Doggy, doggy, Today, someone has a secret. Phyllis? Honey, I have a secret. I didn't use Glass Service Company, and I'm sleeping with your brother. You did what? You did use Glass Service Company? What the hell are you thinking? This could have all been avoided if they'd have just called Glass Service Company. $35 cash or two free boxes of skates. Be good to each other. Call Glass Service Company. It's all right! Honey, can you help me clean? They're your parents. Now the game's tied. Tell you what, when you've used up this one sheet of brawny, you can quit cleaning. Really? Excellent. Brawny has scrubbing circles for scrubbing strength. And Brawny's tight weave construction means you'll have to stop scrubbing long before Brawny does. Honey, what kind of paper towel is this? It's Brawny, dear. Brawny, it might be too strong. Life in the fast lane. to lose your mind. Life in the fast lane. National American University can help you get the career you deserve. NAU specializes in computer and business education with small classes, individual attention, and instructors that are professionals in their field. Help is on the way. Call NAU today. 763-560-8377. And finally tonight, do people often mistake you for the tween queen Britney Spears, do they, Chris? Uh, you know, all, the, all the time. <laughs> or like maybe that. you're totally in sync with Justin Timberlake, whatever the case, Planet Hollywood wants you.
<laughs> well, they want your picture anyway to put on their website. They're looking for dead ringers of Brittany and Justin. <laughs> and if enough web surfers think you look like the real deal, you win a dream date in Florida and all the star treatment that comes with it. I don't know. I don't know anybody that looks like it. Like either you know, one of them. Kind of look like hair Justin. like you a little bit, John. <laughs> The one guy, oh, Brittany? No. Oh, yeah. oh, good. The Timberlake guy. By the way, I want to thank all the folks who showed up on Saturday yeah. morning bright and early to walk with their dogs. And I think a couple of cats and have thankfully no elephants because they had to pick yeah. up as they went along for the Humane Society. All oh, you folks. Oh, come oh my goodness. Isn't that yeah. a dog we know? It's my baby girl. <laughs> yeah. We uh, all, all of us had a chance to be there for that. There were about a thousand folks. They raised a lot of money for the Humane Society. So thank mm -hmm. you for joining us uh, yes. for that. And, and thank you for watching tonight, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. From all of us here at Fox 29, have a good night. Bye-bye. Tonight at 11.30 on Fox 29.